ये एक खुशी बात है कि एक रशियन फिल्म फेस्टिवल इंडिया में हो रहे हैं इस वक्त इट्स जस्ट ऑल अबाउट एनी वे टू कंट्रीज और उन दोनों की फ्रेंडशिप है बहुत साल पहले और आज भी हमारी जो इंडियन फिल्म है रशिया में बहुत मशहूर होते थे एक, मैं तो बहुत कम देखता हूँ मैं वैसे वर्ल्ड फिल्म देखता हूँ बहुत रशियन तो फिलहाल मैंने बहुत कम देखा है यूरोपियन बहुत देख चुका हूँ शायद इसके बाद मैं और रशियन फिल्म देखी यार मैं तो एक्टर हूँ चाहे रशियन में हो चाहे जापानीज़ में हो अगर उस तरह के कोई किरदार मैं निभा सकता हूँ जिसमें रशियन कम या इंग्लिश या ज़्यादा हिंदी में बोल लेता हूँ उस तरह की एक पिक्चर है तो मैं ज़रूर करूँगा काम क्योंकि आई डोंट थिंक लैंग्वेज इज़ अ बैरियर अगर आप एक्टर हो तो आप कोई भी पिक्चर में काम कर सकते हो क्या होता है कि दिस इज ऑल एनी वे आर्ट सिनेमा जो है इट्स अ फॉर्म ऑफ आर्ट और ये जो बाहर से आते हैं यहाँ उनको उनकी पिक्चर पेश करने के लिए तो अच्छी बात होती है बिकॉज इट्स ऑल अबाउट सिनेमा आफ्टर ऑल कि हम ये पिक्चर उनकी पिक्चर्स देख सकते हैं उनसे शायद कुछ सीख सकते हैं और वो हमारी पिक्चर्स देखते हैं और दे लर्न फ्रॉम इट्स ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग एंड जस्ट मेकिंग योर सेल्फ बेटर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू and uh, i am very much fond of russian fans because our my disco dancer is a history in russia and dance dance the song like jimmy jimmy aja aja gorokina kaloki i am a disco dancer and dance dance zubi zubi uh, that all the songs become a, like a russian <laughs> because you are uh, you are doing russian days but it's a fantastic hit is all over russia now also so anyway i am very much happy so thank you very much sir you have been inviting me here and all the best for your master or uh, osiana uh, first uh, russian days sir uh, being a part of a bollywood you know legendary you know proud moment feel karte hain ki jis tarah se bahar ki film mein hindustan mein dikhai ja rahi hai bollywood mein khas kar mumbai mein dikhai gayi kitna proud feel karte hain ab log definitely because you Uh, we are going also outside festival for showing Indian fest, Indian film, and uh, today's Russian days, Russian songs are, Russian films are showing, and we are very proud because uh, I love Russian uh, fans very much, and Bappi Lahiri always uh, from like one uh, legend, he was there, Raj Kapoor Sahab, Randhir Kapoor, Raj Kapoor. Avara who very famous and after that Mithun Chakravarti Bapu Lahiri yeah. disco dance thank, thank you, you. Yeah.
interest on the children is going to speak to you. Hello Mumbai, hello India, I will speak in English. Uh, we are really, really happy to be here. Uh, when I was a kid, I really loved Indian cinema and my favorite actor was uh, Mithun Chikraborty. <laughs> Raj Kapoor, thank you so much, thank you, because we grew up watching your movies and really want your movies back to Russia and our movies to India. Actually, uh, we, we are presenting some movies, they are different, but uh, we'll be happy to see you in the hall, in the cinema hall, watching our movies. Thank you so much and really hope uh, this, this is the first and not the last week of Russian cinema. And uh, just one, one more thing. Uh, nowadays Hollywood is taking over the world and really need to keep our national cinematographies and to support them. And uh, it's great that two nations support each other. Thank you so much and enjoy. Namaskar. Uh, first of all, on behalf of His Excellency the Consul General of Russian Federation Mumbai, I heartily welcome all of you. Respected dignitaries, dear friends, the union of kinematographers of Russia, headed by the legendary actor, the film director and social activist Nikita Mikhalkov, today we have pleasure to see his representative, the first deputy, of Chairman of Union of Kinematographers of Russia, Oleg Vyacheslavich Ivanov, and National Fund of Copyright Holder Support, represented by Alexei Gavarukhin. With support of the Ministry for Culture of Russia, which is represented by the head of the Department of Cinematography, Vyacheslav Nikolaevich Telnov, with support of Consulate General of Russian Federation Mumbai and Russian Center for Science and Culture Mumbai, continues the wonderful tradition of organizing film festival of Russian cinema in different countries. Of course, we deeply appreciate the desire to come to Mumbai and thank our Indian friends, Indian partners uh, for their support. We thank our Indian partners for their support. For the people of Soviet Union and Russia, Bombay was like a window to India. Thanks to such personalities like Haji Ahmed Abbas and Raj Kapoor, Thanks to Bollywood movies, uh, Russia learned about the life of uh, independent and modern India. Russians have been like mirror, they can see like a mirror that the Indian soul, soul is a um, similar Russian soul. From 20th of November, one more Russian film festival will start in Goa. Currently become popular to, joint, uh, to do joint projects. A reliable banking system of Russia, trade staff, more than reasonable compared to Switzerland and other Western countries, uh, expenses, attract the captains of cinematography to Russia. The transparency of the air, the number of sunny days, and fabulous landscape of regions such as Sochi and Crimea give to filmmakers a better opportunity to shoot. We are sure, we are sure that Indians and Indian filmmakers will enjoy of Russian hospitality like we enjoy the hospitality of Mumbai and Mumbai girls, the beauty of Maharashtra and culture of India. Let me express my deep gratitude to the uh, authorities of Maharashtra for the assistance in organizing of this film festival, to all of you for your love to Russia, to your deep interest to Russian culture and Russian cinema. Jai Rus, Jai Hind, Jai Maharashtra. Друзья, еще буквально две минуты. Поверьте, нам просто очень хочется, действительно, много накопилось важных слов, которые хотелось бы вам сказать. Мы очень долго к вам ехали, почти 20 лет. Поэтому я бы очень хотела пригласить нашего замечательного продюсера. Причем он не случайно здесь. Сейчас Джаник Фазеев расскажет еще некую семейную историю, которая связывает с Инди. Буквально пять минут, и мы перейдем к кино. Just, just a few words. Uh, 
uh, a Russian producer wants to say to you, uh, just because we were coming back so long to you, it, it took us uh, nearly 20 years to get back to India. Hi, everybody. <coughs> it's a family story, because, you know, my uncle was a director of the very famous Russian and also Indian movie, uh, Alibaba and 40 Robbers. Yeah. 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 When I was young, I used to work as an assistant on that movie, so I knew a lot of actors which we worked together. But uh, to make a long story short, uh, we are filmmakers. I don't like when we talk much before screening. Uh, just one thing I want to let you know, maybe you don't know, don't know that, uh, Russia and India are very, very close. Uh, not because we have a very long historical tradition of a very close relationship. Uh, not because I'm looking not like typical Russian. Even if you will look on Sayora, for example, I'm sure that uh, very soon she will be a big star for the both side uh, in India and Russia as well. Uh, and at the end of my short speech, I want to say, uh, I want to repeat the very famous uh, Indian phrase, which was very popular when I was young. Hindi Rusi, Bahai Bahai. Good evening, members of the audience, the organizers of the Russian Film Festival that we're going to watch very soon and mostly a huge warm welcome to all the cast and crew of the Russian film, Rast Kinship. I would be happy to say and let you know that I was born in Moscow. Yes. Uh, I'm a classical dancer. I'm a Kathak exponent of the great legendary Pandit Birju Maharaj and I had a wonderful tour to Russia in the mid-80s where I performed in Tchaikovsky Hall and all over Russia and one of the most beautiful countries came. So huge welcome to all of you. It's wonderful to have all the beautiful ladies here. Uh, Bolshoi Krasivaya. <laughs> a little Russian here and there. Uh, so I, it's not about me, it's about my grand uncle, Mr. Khwaja Ahmed Abbas. I'm his grandniece, Nilima Azim the daughter of Janam Anwar Azim Sahab, one of the leading progressive writers, who was in Moscow with my mother, Begum Khadija Azim. And uh, there is a little small little thing that I would like to share with you is that in the film Pardesi, my mother has a small appearance in the scene where, uh, you know, Afa Nasi Niketan comes to meet Nargis Ji. And she's telling a story about how deep the ocean is from where the hero came to India. He actually meant to go to America, but in those days uh, it was very difficult to know where the ship is going to lead you. So he landed up in India and he fell in love with this beautiful Indian girl, which was played by Nargis Ji, uh, a great actress from the film industry of India. And uh, there's this little scene where she's telling, uh, uh, you know, um, all her friends, all her sakis that, oh, you know, he came swimming from the deepest ocean, he came, I mean, on the boat, um, which was so deep that even if you put seven elephants on top of each other, mm -hmm. even they would drown. And at this scene, Afanasi Niketan, he comes and he bumps into this very pretty girl, who is my mother, Khadija Azim. So, I know, thank you. I know of my grand uncle as one of the most generous, uh, and most uh, loving, affectionate people. He's had a very strong link with Russia. And uh, he was extremely uh, influenced by the philosophy and the uh, socialistic leanings of Russia. And the World War II, uh, at the time when, uh, you know, the young guard was established by the young uh, boys under 14. At that time when the boys all lost their lives, my grand uncle was extremely influenced and fascinated and, uh, you know, his heart-rendering short stories uh, with Sadaif and all the other short story writers at that time. Um, there was a great uh, movement uh, with the, uh, uh, you know, um, Progressive Writers Association, which is PWA, uh, which went on to making uh, films with Ipta, which was again, you know, uh, a movement. Uh, which had the same socialistic leanings and the same beliefs, the same uh, passion for equality in society. So uh, we have been
been very highly influenced by all this and uh, we have grown up watching great Russian films. And uh, one of the great uh, Russian films that I remember, besides War and Peace and Anna Karenina, was one of the most beautiful films I have ever seen, The Cranes Are Blind. And I'm very happy to say that both the films, Pardesi and Cranes Are Blind, are being featured uh, in, the, you know, in this festival. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I think Cranes Are Blind is being featured tomorrow. And uh, my uh, grand uncle's film, Kwajam in the Pass, who we used to call Pyare Mamu Pachu. Mamu means uncle. Chacha also means uncle, one from the mother's side and one from the father's side. So we used to call him Mam Pacho Chacha. He had a great influence on us and on our thinking. Today we are a part of the uh, Hindi film fraternity. And if he was alive here today, he would have been very proud of me. And both my sons, uh, my elder son is Mr. Shahid Kapoor, who is one of the leading actors of the Hindi film industry. And uh, we are happy to say, so I would like to conclude uh, my little, uh, you know, conversation with you now since we are running late. Thank you so much. Drasvijay, Spasiba, Plajalista and all that. But thank you so much. This is Anya for a You want me to one thing, sorry. You want me to look here or look at him? Look at him? Look here? Okay. It's a wonderful day and uh, I think it's uh, very important that Russian films should be introduced to the young generation of uh, Mumbai today and India. And we have grown up on Russian films, we've seen a lot of Russian films, we've read a lot of Russian literature and I have read most of it in translation but uh, I come from a family which is very closely connected to the Russian cultural, political, social uh, world and uh, we've been very highly influenced by uh, Russian uh, dancing, music and their literature and cinema of course. So. Um, I think it's it's wonderful the way it was inaugurated and it was so exciting to see the cast of Across Borders and they were all so wonderful and cinema has changed in Moscow and I suppose Moscow has changed a lot. I went in about 1987-88, I went uh, touring to Russia or uh, I did a performances performances solo performances kiye. and I danced at Tchaikovsky Hall like I did mention in my uh, conversation with the audiences today and I think it's a... Uh, it's uh, you see Russia is uh, is it's the heart and soul of uh, music and dance and being a dancer I very closely relate to the Bolshoi there and the ballet and Spartacus and all that we have seen the Nutcracker we've seen Giselle we've seen Swan Lake of course everybody has seen Swan Lake and I've grown up listening to the music there like I said uh, by most uh, loved best loved novel is a Russian novel it was called how the steel was tempered and I think it was by Peter something which I, I'm forgetting because I was about 13 years old when I read that book and it was in two parts and I got so inspired by that book that till today I follow that that you have to go through everything in life just like how a diamond is made out of a coal the same way you have to the seed steel was tempered means it went through all the heat and the mold you know like molten lava it melts and then finally it gets formed so you know P russian literature and russian cinema russian music is huge huge part their their, their sports their uh, gymnastics their circus i mean what aren't they best at so I think it's wonderful that all of us are going to watch some of the old classics which are the a part of the world world cinema at, at, at its greatest. Like I mentioned today that we grew up seeing and I mentioned the films that we have. I'm not going to go into a very long thing right now. But I would, I would ask all the youngsters and all those people who have been bred on mostly uh, the English or American uh, cinema and of course we have a lot of uh, we are giving a lot of attention to French and Iranian cinema today, but at the same time, I would I would really really want uh, and and welcome and request all the youngsters to get acquainted with Russian cinema because it's most probably one of the most the oldest and uh, the greatest uh, cinema that has been made uh, in in the world, 
and uh, the finest actors and the finest filmmakers and writers have been a part of it and we have grown up on it and i would really tell you to introduce yourself to the cinema because like i very rightly said that it's most probably one of the greatest cinemas that have ever been made in the world yeah and ma'am ye bhi cheez janna chahunga aapse ki uh, being a part of bollywood you know this jis tarah se aapne kaam kiya hai pankaj sir ne kaam kiya shahid kaam kar rahe hain you know superstars ke stage pe hain ek bollywood mein kaam karna aur wahan pe aap uh, kahin na kahin uh, जो रशियन फिल्म आते हैं उनकी उनकी दिलचस्पी होती है कि नो कि मैं आप बॉलीवुड में जाके अपनी फिल्में दिखाऊं ये कहीं ना कहीं बहुत बड़ा प्राउड फील है लोगों के लिए कि अब लोग बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट ले रहे हैं जिस तरह से हॉलीवुड के लोगों ने इंटरेस्ट लिया है कि बॉलीवुड में फिल्म दिखाना है हिंदुस्तान में फिल्म दिखाना है रशियन फिल्म को दिखाना है नो What do you think? Well, I think it's been a part of our growing up. We've seen the best of Russian films in Delhi mm. when we were growing up. We we used to go to Max Miller Bhavan. It was a tradition in our family, and to uh, all the embassies. And those those days in Delhi's in the 70s and the 80s, the embassies used to uh, throw these festivals. And uh, you know, uh, we used to we used to watch the best of cinema at that time, and that's how we grew up. So I kind of feel that it's wonderful that the tradition is being you know. uh sort of revisited and uh started all over again and this tradition must go on and the people should be called and should be invited and this cinema should ta- be taken across to people most of the generation today is logged on to american cinema which is great hollywood obviously brings out a lot of exciting cinema but i would like to say here that russia has been the finest at its circuses at its music uh you have you know you have the greatest musicians like uh, you have the greatest writers like chekhov or uh, tchaikovsky or you have the greatest dancers like uh, right from nizhinsky to anna pavlova to uh, you know um, nadeshda pavlova living today and um, uh, yeah so i just like to say that uh, let's carry this on it's very 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 important thank you so much you're most welcome thank you so much